And so by Paul saying, look, you know, we start with the belief in the message and in the gospel of Christ. What that also means is that we take Christ at his word. Like everything Jesus says, we take him and we trust his word, surrender to his word. We submit to his word. We find nourishment in the word of God. We find nourishment in his, uh, in his instruction and in his direction. I was thinking about this this, this week. My, my son, he's in um, pre-K now. He was in preschool last year. He's four. And he came home um, one day from school with this bag and it had a, um, it had like a little seed, little seedling and a little, um, you know, it had a little sprout sticking out of the seed and some soil in a bag. And I was like, oh, that's cute. And I just like put it aside and I forgot about it for a week. And he didn't remind me and I just didn't. So then a week later, it was like all brown. And I was like, oh man, I forgot about this. I'm a terrible dad. And um, so I planted it in a little cup that we had. And uh, listen, I'm no botanist, but I will say, I realized very quickly that in order for a plant to grow leaves, and it did survive. In order for a plant, plant to grow leaves, in order for a plant to you know, blossom, in order for a plant to you know, produce fruit, it needs what? It needs good nourishment, right? Like it needs good soil, it needs uh, nutrients, it needs light, it needs water. Otherwise, we all know that it's just gonna die. In the same way, listen, in order, in order for this spirit to work in our life in order for uh, his evidence and his fruit to manifest itself in our life, we need good nourishment for the soul that only comes through the word of God. Hear me when I, when I say uh, Psalm chapter one, verse two, I love how Eugene Peterson, he, um, he talks, he, he explains the, uh, the effects of staying in the word of God this way. I love it so much. He says, listen, you thrill to God's word. You chew on scripture day and night. You're a tree replanted in Eden, bearing fresh fruit every month, never dropping a leaf, always in blossom. Jesus, he says it this way in John chapter 6, verse 63. He says, look, the spirit alone gives eternal life. Human effort, human wisdom, listen, that all accomplishes nothing. The words of others, they accomplish nothing eternally, nothing spiritually. And the very words I have, Jesus says, spoken to you are what? Spirit and life. We know that these words, you, scripture tells us over and over again, they, it reminds us that these words, and you hear me say this all the time, that these are so much more than words, on a book, words in a book or, or history on a page, right? That these are the words of life. These are the words of the spirit of God speaking over us. That these words are active, that they're alive, that they cut to the heart, that they're God breathed, that they're spirit inspired, that they're useful for you know teaching us between right and wrong, useful of, of correcting us when we are wrong, useful uh, for you know preparing and equipping us for good work. This is the bread of life right here, friends. And so listen, as we read, as we study, as we, as Eugene Peterson is, as, as we says, as we thrill to God's word, as we chew on scripture, as we plant God's word in our heart and in our mind, not only will he reveal his promises that are so good and so vast for us to lean on, not only will, you know, he direct us in the ways of repentance and holiness where we learn to, to prune off the old habits of the flesh and to, to cultivate these like new habits of the spirit. But at the same time, we stay in God's word. It keeps us connected. It keeps us grounded to the language of God, the language of his spirit, the very nature and the character of God. And so listen, in your struggle for patience, in your struggle for joy, to walk according to the fruit of the Spirit, ask yourself, where am I going for nourishment? What's the first thing I'm doing in the morning? Am I opening up my phone? Am I going to my emails? Am I going to the news? Am I going to my Instagram? Like, where am I getting nourishment for my soul? Uh, when's the last time I've read the Bible? 
When's the last time I really dug into God's word and allow God's word to actually speak over me, not to just check it off the box for the day, but for God's word to speak over me, uh, to be intentional, to be obedient to that word. When's the last time I've read and prayed through and meditated and immersed myself and thrilled, been, you know, thrilled to get into God's word? 